spring sports getting into full swing, the boys golf team traveled to Lake Quivira. Cooper Kate has the highlights. This past Monday, your Olathe Northwest Ravens varsity golf team swung into the season with a tournament at the Lake Quivira Country Club. The Ravens played great as Jace Klein placed first for the Ravens with a score of 80, Jackson Wexler behind him with the 81, and Kellen Welsh in a close third with the 83. O&W placed third overall in the tournament and will look to continue the steady pace the rest of the year after losing a couple key seniors from last year's team. This has been Cooper Kate from Game Day Northwest. Thanks Cooper. For more on the golf team, here is Ecom's favorite couple with a preview of the year. The Raven Boys golf team has high expectations heading into the upcoming year. Well, our expectation this year, obviously, to qualify for state and probably get uh, top three in the Sunflower League and just do as best as we can. Wexler has set his bar high for the season to come. Well, our hopes for this season are to qualify for state and probably get uh, top three in the Sunflower League. With lots of variety of talent on the team, the Ravens are in it to win it this season. Uh, you know, Brady Stoffer and Kellen Welsh, you know, they're sophomores in this team. You know, they're looking to get their first few varsity tournaments in, just kind of getting their confidence up for the, the rest of the season and for the rest of the high school, high school career. Good luck this season, boys. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Sydney Weeks and Will Vessel. Now, back to the desk. Can't wait to see how far the golf team will go this year. Good luck, guys. After being highly competitive at state last year, the track team hopes to build off their strong results and continue to get better. Val Carwright caught up with the team to discuss the upcoming year. So I think the sky's the limit. I think if I limit our expectations, then, you know, we limit what those kids are capable of, and our kids are capable of a, of a lot this year. With athletes such as Audrey Fisher, Julian Lacey, Rachel Mayberry, and many more, and the girls finishing second in state last year, they're sure to come back even better this season. Track team's full of kids that have worked really hard. Um, they're, you know, track's kind of a sport where you do stuff, you know, individually in practice and at the meet. So kids kind of have to be really responsible and mature about how they work out and how they perform. So um, it's wonderful. You guys should come check us out. Usually we're, we're performing on Fridays, so we're in the area. So come, come give, you know, one of the best teams in the state, you know, a shout out and come see us. After a couple of nail-biting losses to start off the season, the girls' soccer team faced off against Wichita Trinity as they look to get back to on track. Angie Torres has the recap. Last Saturday, the Lady Ravens soccer team went against Wichita Trinity. The girls did a good job keeping possession of the ball throughout the whole game. Soon in the first half, the ladies were able to score as number 22, Lindsey Carr, kicked it into the goal. Wichita Trinity tried to recover, but senior Morgan Longstreth was able to block the ball. The Ravens tried scoring their second goal, but couldn't find it the rest of the first half. The girls found their second goal as number 13, Jenna Hiraki, shines into the net. Lady Ravens got their third and final goal of the game as number 16, Isabel Cruz, shot it into the net. The Lady Ravens beat Wichita Trinity 3-1. For Game to Northwest, this has been Angie Torres. A reminder that the soccer game on Thursday will be streamed by Ecom. The game is at 7 at CBAC, but if you're not able to make it to the game, check out thecube.com and search Olathe Northwest. That's all for Game Day Northwest. We'll send it back to Libby and Victoria.